Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan. My name is Saiken and we're going to look into the next council mission. It's month number four now <clears throat> and uh, the run is overall going way better than I would ex uh, have expected. But still we're facing the severe limitations of our two-man uh, squad size we are with magnetic weapons but we haven't completely upgraded to gauss weapons so as you can see um, our sniper at galleon po would still have a conventional weapon uh, so in this case we're going to run it actually with uh, the team of roby plus outrider the reason for that being our templar is still unfortunately wounded for quite some uh, time <sighs> that is really, really unfortunate, uh, but with uh, the Templar being out, I had the choice of either going with Outrider plus Edgallion Poe, again, not, not upgraded sniper rifle, or having Roby, who has death from above and an upgraded um, weapon, which I think will do way better. Since we're fighting inside of a city, uh, every single uh, VIP mission is inside of a city, we will have high ground and Roby will have the chance to use Death from above in order to get multiple actions. Dragonova will mostly scout and her um, hopefully in increased uh, radius of uh, remote start, uh, as well as her Shrapnel, uh, so um, her mine, uh, might help us to actually kill off a couple of enemies before the fights even start. So far the theory, let's see how it plays out in practice. Problem with these missions is there is a realistic chance of uh, our operatives uh, getting captured. I can't really do anything against that. Uh, if we are not going on to this mission, we are losing the option to get a scientist. We are automatically losing uh, the South Af Africa and we're also losing uh, 100 uh, Intel, which is really, really, really bad. We need all of that at the moment because, uh, quite frankly, when I was saying it's going better than expected, that doesn't mean it really is going uh, well. It's quite the opposite. We're still getting heavily outnumbered on most of the missions. Our scientists are okay. Our engineers are absolutely dog shit at the moment. I mean, we have so little of them. And well, wait a second. Did we just get... Ooh. Look at us flexing here. Who has just joined us, right? It's an XCOM soldier. And thank you dear game that you would give them upgraded weapons so we have just received a third um this here is the continent bonus okay so good so there is a little there was a little chance uh, that uh, we would get uh, an an xcom uh, uh, a resistance operative on our mission and we got it i love it i actually do love it Here's our uh, target, and here's the extraction zone. Well, what could possibly go wrong, right? Dragonova is beginning to scout. Moves up all the way, and we do have 14 and 12, instead of 12 turns due to our resistance order, which gave us additional turns. Great. Best possible start. I, th I love it how decisions start to matter. I really, really like it. Because it shows that with clever decision making and correct prioritization, you can even overcome massive odds. So that should be a lesson for those immediately willing to quit uh, after order, after like two or three lost missions, right? Just look at the sheer amount of missions that we have lost on this run. And we're still being able to pull it off so far. Not completely, but so far. 
All right. Um, I think we could go even all the way up to here. This is a visual display bug. The operative is really standing here next to Roby. I'm surprised that we haven't even found a single enemy so far. So, Roby has the option to hack and get our target VIP that would make him visible. So, might as well continue to move in cells as long as we can. Uh, gain random control for two run uh, rounds. That's actually not too bad, but again, not worth blowing our cover for it. Pretty sure there is a pack behind this van. Yeah. The reason why I was so sure is there is always a pack right next to uh, the target. And this here is the target, so really no rocket science. Probably going to use uh, the Claymore. Our soldier here is very expandable uh, compared to the others. And we have a lot of time left over. Still got a lot of ticks on the timer. I understand. Moving up all the way to here. Good to know that there is another patrol. Put ourselves into full cover, shall we? All right. So this here would clear out at least the sector but the sector wouldn't even know that we're here and this here would clear out all three of uh, those guys and again it wouldn't dis uh, discover us that's how beautiful Dragonover is There we go. We could open the trunk. On the move. 
Moving up. Running. So good. Let's get this sectoid. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Again, my PC has a hard time computing all of this. He's triggered, but he doesn't doesn't know where we are. Yeah, let's get a bit of intel. Good job, Roby. Well done. Easy mission. We're still having Dragonover, but Dragonover is okay for now. Might be uh, we might be able to give Dragonover. Oh, holy! <laughs> so lucky. Yeah, we wouldn't want her to fight us, would we? Interesting. Extra kill. Not even spotted out. Great. Love it. Perfect. Yeah, with the chosen, the whole game this fire is getting worse. game plan changes a bit. Let's not uh, lose anyone. Even though she's expendable, there is no point in wasting her life. We've got what we came for. Might as well extract everyone. That went uh, smoother than I would have expected. Thanks again to Dragonover and her incredible explosive uh, skills. As long as 
there's even one Reaper left standing. You can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. Nice, and we got 20 additional intel, plus 91, that's 111. Uh, we're looking at another scientist whom we just recently liberated. We're now at four scientists, that's great, because it reduces our, our research time even further. Five more days, that's good. And look at us, 148 intel. That's pretty, oh, nice. Let's get the engineer. Immediately, number one priority. So far, the Avatar project hasn't made any progress. That's good. We just got uh, the magnetic cannon, the Gauss rifle. Yeah, we're not going for psionics. I mean, we are going for psionics eventually, but not now. Like right now, there are bigger fish. There is bigger fish to fry than uh, saving a couple of days here. Thinking about the Advent Officer autopsy versus plated armor, we're probably going with the Advent Officer autopsy. Viper autopsy is good for med packs, but we need um, we need uh, proving grounds first. Mutant autopsy is good for web uh, for grenade upgrades, but we need proving grounds first. Faces autopsy is undoubtedly good for mimic beacons, but we do not have enough corpses anyways at the moment. Plated armor is good because of the extra um, body slot plus survivability, so this is something that I will highly prioritize. Uh, but for now, let's go with the Advent Officer, uh, so we can actually get uh, Proving Grounds and uh, the Skull Jack. So just a couple more ticks and the Engineer is with us. Perfect. Oh, that's just so good. Very helpful. I am torn between actually starting excavation. If I were to give her a go, that means we're reducing the timing here. We don't have an av avatar project reduction at the moment, so I'll just leave it as is. We do have enough time until the supply drop. GTS might be a better choice to speed that up or alternatively beginning the excavation here. Hmm. Doesn't look pretty but we still need to do it, right? This coil could provide a That's three. Yeah. Nope. We're going for more space because look at that. We do have the GTS. We still need um, our infirmary. We don't have that, and we need more. Uh, we need more um, con uh, contacts. So we actually need to build up a lot in a relatively small amount of time. Still can't make any contact anywhere. Might as well take the supplies. But we don't need supplies right now, so it really doesn't matter. I am con I'm I'm thinking whether we want to spend some intel in the black market. Yeah, but then again it's probably wasteful. We do have enough Eloys at the moment. Let's keep the intel. Okay, um, look at that, yet another engineer. Protect the device uh, sucks, though. High level of psionic energy, uh, enemies present, also not necessarily a convincing argument to do it. Moderate, difficult, 
and a dark event that really 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 annoys me uh, the chosens are bad enough and neutralize a field commander which is probably something that we could do rather easily with another hidden event that we would have countered we don't know what the hidden event is but neutralizing the field commander I mean, with Dragon Over, that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Let me think that through, and we're going to see it in the next uh, see it in the next mission. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, leave a like and uh, comment uh, if you do have the time, even if it's just a thank you or well done or interesting run. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, consider doing it. I am regularly uploading XCOM 2 videos um, on the highest difficulty, as you can see. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye.